I'm a night person, and sometimes I get romantic at night, and I'll say things in my computer, and I get up, come in here and turn my computer on at 8 o'clock the next morning and read that. I say, God, did I really say that? You know, and, and so a lot of times I delete it. But I'm a night person. I'm, I'm writing a lot of times at 2 o'clock in the morning, and then I'll go to bed and I'll think of something. I'll get up six, eight, ten times before I go to sleep just to make notes because I know I'm not going to remember it in the morning, something that I want to say. And in my book, $17 a square inch about Eric Sloan, my dear friend Eric Sloan, there were two times in that book where I des described the books that he wrote 50 books in 50 years. And I just, I had a pictures of eight or ten of the covers of his books on the right-hand page. So I write a sentence up, he did blah, 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 colon. But you can't end a sentence with a colon. So I put all of the, the, the entire next page covered with book covers that Eric Sloan had written. I put those in a sentence and I put the period way down here by the page number. I did that twice in, in my book and nobody ever caught that. There was another case where I, I finished a sentence as a caption to a painting. I never heard of that being done before either, but I always make up words. And I look in the dictionary to make sure that it isn't there. My philosophy is, first of all, dictionaries retard freedom of speech. Did you know that there are 150 prepositions in the English language? And you're not, you're not supposed to use any of them on the end. I think that's terrible. People make rules like that. But I make up words. And my philosophy is this. If the reader knows exactly what you're talking about, then who cares what the word is? Why does it have to be a real word?